All right, uh, for the new Minecraft 1.7.2 server, you can have it. It's just a normal EXE that if you want to run it simply, you double click it. And you know, all well, this will pop up, but in the command prompt of the console, nothing appears to be happening, but stuff obviously is happening because all the files are being created. Uh, basically all the stuff, if you do a command such as say hi, it's not going to pop up here. It's going to pop up in the logs. Like these logs can be useful because you can check back to different dates to see what's happening like yesterday at this time. But I just want something so I can see what's going on currently. So to do that, I'm going to stop this. Basically all you have to do if you want a command prompt or console that you can look at, make a new text document. I'm going to call it run. You can call it start or whatever you want to. So basically going to go in here and the code you're going to put is as follows. You're going to have all this. It'll give you more RAM right here and here. You don't need to do that, but it's suggested. And then the name of your file. And see how I have it dot jar? We're going to get to that in a minute. So save this as going to do not run.txt but run.bat b a t now we're going to save that exit and as you can see we don't need this run.txt anymore because we have the run.bat and if you try to double click it and it just pops up and goes away it's because it'll only start an ex uh, jar and this is an exe so you rename this exe take that off and change it to jar Yes, I want to change the file. Now it's that. So now when you double click this, this will pop up. Show all the servers. If this will also pop up and you have to keep it open, you can just minimize that. You don't have to look at that. And now is this if you do a command, it'll show what's happening. If you type help, all the help pages, same as question mark. And if you do stop, it'll show all the stop entries. So that's basically how you would, and it also saves the logs as well, but that's how you would if you want to run it with a console. If this uh, video helped you, leave a like, comment with YouTube's new crappy comment system, and I'll see you next time.